tit for tat and the only people that are getting hurt through all of this is the kids. Hundreds of parents and children with special needs are holding out hope tonight that they'll still somehow be allowed to go to camp. Now, we have taken you along for this emotional roller coaster this week as the camp battles with the state to operate this summer. Caught in the middle, those families who look forward to this camp all year long. Our Caitlin Ross has the latest on this back and forth. What do you say? Mommy. Alicia McGlone's sons both go to Camp Dream. That's my boy. She says it's all her five-year-old talks about. This one asked me when we're in the car each week, are we going to camp? When are we going to camp? Camp is this way. Camp Dream, it gives these special children a place to go to just be kids. Alyssa Zergis' son has gone for years. She says it gives him the break he so desperately needs. We found out yesterday that his tumors have grown. So I want him to be able to have fun. Camp Dream's executive director says the state is just trying to push them out. But this is, you know, a grave misuse of power at the highest level for someone who's appointed there to protect these same individuals. The state says they told Camp Dream last year they needed to get certified by the American Camp Association in order to open this year in Meriwether County where they've held camp for 22 years. The certification proves they have emergency transportation and enough counselors. It's a five-step process, and the state says they didn't finish in time. So they offered to send the kids to another camp, a solution Camp Dream says just doesn't work. It's putting them in a very unfamiliar environment. Um, it's not our programming. It's not our people. And Camp Dream is is our organization. The family say they don't care who does what or where, they just want their kids to have the summer they deserve. It's only hurting these kids. And that's just, that's not right. The state says they're still working on a compromise and they hope they can send these kids to camp, but right now the families say their kids have nowhere to go. Any sense of the time frame on this? As soon as they can possibly figure out a yeah. solution. They've been going back and forth now for a couple months. These families say they need answers about whether or not their kids are going to have a place to go this summer. I know that's just heartbreaking for these families with these children looking forward to this all year, all year long, long. And, and here they are at this point right. where it's, it's almost here exactly. for this to happen. Caitlin Ross, keep us updated on Will how do. this turns out.